Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCola outside Old Trafford, where Manchester United have beaten Sheriff 3 0. Thanks to goals from Cristiano Ronaldo, from Marcus Rashford, and of course, opening up the scoring was Diogo Delo in the first half for Manchester United. And it was a professional performance from the Reds. It was a comfortable victory in the end. And it's a win that means we go into the final match day of this Europa League group, needing a win against Real Sociedad to confirm top spot and we've got it all to do yet because of that defeat against Real Sociedad here um, in the opening game of the group so that win um, or that defeat rather against Real Sociedad has meant we've got a big big job on our hands in Spain to finish top of the group but it's one we can do now and was made possible because of the result here today and it was a team um, that we started with we made a few changes we brought Garnacho in um, Cristiano Ronaldo started but it was a game where we started pretty much our full strength team. Um, David De Gea was in goal. Um, we had Lindelof and, of course, uh, Martinez at the centre-back positions. Um, obviously, that's our first choice at the minute because of Rafael Varane being out injured. And then at left-back, we had Taran Malassia coming in for Luke Shaw. Right-back, the old goal to low. He was the one that got the scoring underway in the first half as well with the header. And when he rose up from the corner um, and scored the header, I was sitting there thinking, I was sitting there thinking, is that Cristiano Ronaldo? And the only way I realised from the back of the Stretford end that it was Diogo Delo was from his celebration, you know, where he puts his fingers to his neck and all that, checks his pulse. Uh, that was the only way I realised that it was uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, sorry, Diogo Delo, because him and Ronaldo have a very similar um, stature, stance. Um, their haircuts look the same sometimes from far. And, and, you know, I sit at the back of the strip for them, so it was an easy mistake uh, to make. And I initially thought Ronaldo had scored, and then I clearly saw it was Diogo Delo. But it was a fantastic goal, and it was a goal our performance in the first half deserved. We dominated, dominated Sheriff. They had two banks of four, two banks of five, just sitting there in front of their goalkeeper. And we were struggling to break them down. One of the moves that we often would go for would be that diagonal ball over the defence, trying to get a late run from Bruno Fernandes or one of our fullbacks or someone like that. And it was something that Bruno Fernandes was trying all night, those late runs from just outside the 18-yard box, in behind the defence, looking for that diagonal. And it nearly paid off on a few occasions. Bruno Fernandes trying to pull a few back for Cristiano Ronaldo and so on. But it did take that corner goal to get Manchester United underway. And then in the second half, it was pretty much a dominant performance again. Um, but we just had to make sure we get we get the goal because, you know, Chevy didn't have much about them. They didn't have many attacks, but the few that they did have, it was two or three of them breaking against two or three of us. So it always left us three on three at the back and then with an opportunity to possibly score. So we had to make sure we got that second goal. Um, and we did get that second goal through Marcus Rashford, who came on as a second half substitute. And it was a fantastic finish from Marcus Rashford. It was a header and it was an absolute goal scorer's header um, as well. We've been frustrated by Marcus Rashford's um, finishing this season. You know, I think his all round performances have generally been good, but his finishing has let him down. And if his finishing was any better this season, he would have had about 10 goals by now. Nevertheless, he is on six. He's got a certain um, more than a certain man called Gabriel Jesus, who's been getting hyped about all season. So he's not doing too badly, but, you know, Marcus Rashford's finishing has let him down on occasion so far this season. But today it didn't. And it was a fantastic header as he rose and nodded it in from a Luke Shaw cross. Luke Shaw with another assist for Manchester United after getting an assist against Chelsea. And he's coming in um, clutch at the moment, isn't he, Luke Shaw? Um, he's doing really well at the minute. Um, again, coming in as a substitute in that second half. Um, and then Cristiano Ronaldo gets his goal. And it was where, you know, you could see some frustration building um, in Cristiano Ronaldo. There was a couple of occasions he has a free kick, which he absolutely launches into the wall. He had a few other half chances where he maybe could have and should have done better with. There was one where he dribbles the ball round onto the edge of the box. And you're thinking, go on, this is a perfect opportunity for you to place it in the corner. But he placed it narrowly wide. And there was a few moments today where I thought, ooh, that's looking good. Cristiano Ronaldo picking the ball up on the edge of the box, playing quick one-twos and bursting um, towards the box and towards the 18-yard box. Cristiano Ronaldo looked good today at times. Um, and to see him get that goal was, was, was really good as well because you want to see Cristiano Ronaldo scoring. We're going to have to rely upon him at times this season and getting him in the goal and in the, in the goals and in the mood as well is important now. Ronaldo will be expecting to score you know, 30, 40 goals a season as he usually does. But what he has to realise is He's no longer that Cristiano Ronaldo. He's no longer a young man and he's going to have to bide his time. And I think he'll be able to bide his time, um, to be totally honest with you. And I think if he realises that, look, if I sit on the bench, 
if I take my time, if I be patient, I'll be fully fit for the World Cup. And there'll also be plenty of occasions where I can I can get goals and be critical and be crucial um, to this team. There's going to be moments where you can get match-winning performances, match-winning goals. He just has to be patient and realise where his position is, unfortunately. And look, today I think it was a good performance from him. Obviously, we need to get Anthony Martial back. I think he gives us a different dimension. But Cristiano Ronaldo pulling his weight and onside is the best thing um, for all concerned. And to see him get that goal today will be good because it will take a little bit of the weight off his shoulders as well. But it reminds me of, you know what it reminds me of when he plays for United? You know on FIFA Ultimate Team when I've only got one good player up top, Erling Haaland at the moment, or a Cristiano Ronaldo in the past, and you just try and get the ball through to him on every single occasion to try and make him score because, you know, he's the one who's got the finishing ability. Um, yeah, man, that's what it reminds me of at the moment with Cristiano Ronaldo. We're just trying to force things through him. But look, man, it'll come and he'll have his moments to be a match winner for us this season, if not as much as he comes to expect. If not, he'll leave in the summer, uh, in January or in the summer. And I think Ten Hag's managed the situation quite well. But all in all today, 3-0 result. I think it was thoroughly deserved. Now we got to go to Spain, beat them, hopefully get top of the group so we can miss that next knockout stage. Um, but yeah, delighted with that performance today. And you can see with this Manchester United team and with Eric Ten Hag as well, the base level of our performance is so much higher. We're playing a better average of football. And this felt like a routine win here today. Remember under, I hate going back to it, but every time under Fergie, you'd go to Old Trafford and you'd get a 2-0 win and you'd walk out of there thinking that wasn't much special, but we got the job done. And that's how it feels at the moment with these kind of performances at Old Trafford against these kind of teams. We broke down Sheriff in the end. We get the result and fingers crossed we can keep it going. But yeah, huge result. And can I just tell you something as well? I fucking love Lissandro Martinez, you know. He might be my favourite player ever. After Marshall, obviously. But what a guy Lissandro Martinez, man. I absolutely love him. My man of the match today would go... Ooh, Lindelof was good today, I thought. Casemiro was good when he was on the pitch as well. But Cristiano Ronaldo led the line well. Garnacho did really well for his debut as well. Let me just, I know I haven't spoken about him much, but today he was direct. He was taking on players. He was making the right passes. He could have scored a goal and maybe should have scored a goal towards the end as well. I thought Garnacho was excellent. And actually, I'll give my man of the match to Garnacho. A message to Sancho, just go for it. I found that at times today. Anthony and, you know, sometimes with Garnacho, who's settled into the game, but sometimes, you know, they're just too passive. You got to get going and get running at people, um, especially Jaden Sancho. So, yeah, uh, good to see Garnacho out there today. A good performance. I'll give him the man of the match. But all in all, perfect team performance. Well done, Reds. And roll on Sunday where we need to beat West Ham. See you in a bit.